Hi all, <clears throat> welcome to another Chess24 Banter Blitz. Now you can use this voucher code Kings Crusher to get 15% off. And even today you can challenge the world chess champion, literally a once in a lifetime opportunity. Later today, if you become a premium member, you turn up 20 to 30 minutes before the stream, well maybe even more in Max Carlson's case. You send off your challenge. It goes on a challenge list which is stored and then you may be uh, picked up for a game. So that's later today, World Chess Champion. So definitely worth becoming a premium member. If you use the voucher code Kings Crusher, 15% off. Great opportunity there. Okay, let's go to scene. Uh, the scene where we're gonna uh, look at the challenge list. Jetzel, a very underrated opponent. I'm not taking anything for granted here. Based on his rating, very strong player. It goes on the challenge list, which is stored. Okay, uh, let me then zoom. You may be uh, picked up. No, 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 no. Sorry, pardon me. So let, let, let me mute that. <laughs> mute that. Okay, I think D five. And um, I'm hoping the audio is okay and the visual okay right now. All right, let's take on D4 here. Let's see six. Protect that, seems sensible. Uh, and um, okay, so there was pressure on, um, there is pressure on D5. I'll try and protect this before it drops off the board. Can I play uh, Bishop E7 and castle? Well, that's that's my modest ambition. I just want to castle here. Uh, I guess Knight E5. I might consider Rook C8 though. Uh, if Knight E5, uh, I don't think it's worth trying to sack a pawn. Well, he can take on a7 anyway, if he really wants a pawn. So now his queen takes a7, I guess. All right, now here, um, maybe queen b6 is an idea. Because <laughs> uh, again, I don't want to lose a pawn in an unfavorable way. So I think queen b6 is uh, plausible. Bishop e3 though, queen c7. Ah, well that's interesting. If that happened, bishop e3, okay. There is the possibility of bishop c5 here, I think. Yeah, I'll play bishop c5, I think. As long as there's no knight a4 trick. Uh, so let's see if um, knight takes, pawn takes. I'm not sure there's, I'm hoping there isn't a devastating forcing move here. Uh, on bishop takes, queen takes. Okay, let's castle, I think. I think it's worth casting usually. Get the king safe before indulging in active operations as a general rule. Putting yourself beyond defeat before going into battle. Trying to put yourself beyond defeat. So I'm hitting F2 here. Uh, so he's protecting that. I'll put the queen back. So actually, that was a nice move, protecting f2 there and hitting the queen. Is it possible c5 at some point? I wonder. One plus is uh, okay. He's got c5 under control. I could try and. Re-establish that knight d7. Maybe. 
on his knight a4. So if he wants a grip on c5, well, he can certainly get it with knight c5 or that move. Okay, can I play here? If queen c5, maybe rook b5. No, if queen c5, queen takes a4. If queen, if knight c5, I take there. Um, what else is there? I'm to think about. Um, maybe, maybe rook b4. Would he play c3? What about bishop f5? I don't lose the exchange away right? if I play bishop f5. Bishop f5 seems plausible. I'm wondering. Okay, rook b4 maybe on a3, rook takes a4. Rook b4. If I want the queens on. It's plausible, isn't it? Rook b4. It seems plausible. There might even be a tactic with rook c2 and rook takes c5. If, even if I give up my queen, I think rook b4. So a3, rook a4, b3 creates some weaknesses. There's the possibility of rook b5, I, I think. If b3, I can uh, play. Oh. Uh, mm. <laughs> uh, <I>, uh, <laughs> okay. Oh, that one. All right, that's that's different then. Okay, let's go here. Queen's coming off. So white has that iron grip over c5 right now. Yeah, I don't want to weaken necessarily my back row with a move like I had rook fb8. Mind you, the knight sort of held e8. Okay, so say, uh, okay, yeah, there's uncomfortable pressure here. Knight e4, is that a move? Knight e4. Right, can I play for c5? Round about here or not? Soon, maybe soon. C five. Soon or not? No, it's been extinguished. Um, <laughs> this is awkward. That wins the exchange, doesn't that? Knight C five, knight D seven. Uh, that's getting awkward, isn't that? Okay, I'll try and hold d5 with bishop f7. Oh, there's bishop e8, actually. I didn't even see that until now. That was nifty. Okay, that might be a move. So rook c5, rook a4. I didn't even see that. I, I was just thinking I had to give up c6 for bishop f7, to be honest. But that does seem like a move. Now rook c5, rook takes a4. Okay, so I think I'm in the driving seat right now. Um, uh, if I just play bishop c6, that holds d7. I play rook c8 after. All right, there is the possibility of bishop b7. Now surely this is okay with, with the bishop. Okay, bring the king up or not, it's gonna be pinned. Um, maybe try and stay out of trouble here with my king. Oh, there's rook takes h5 though. 
Oh, his pawns are getting a bit menacing. H4, try and counter attack over here with H3. Try and undermine these pawns, try and get a past pawn myself if possible. So now try and Okay, it is getting scary. Got to blockade them out. Go behind to try and stop these pawns. And this. So if B7 take. Right, thanks to the game, Jensel. Yeah, I was a bit fortunate with this. F6 power underestimated myself. F6. Uh, hi there. Okay. So classic start. D4 is a nice square sometimes. Let's see. Play D6. Maybe h5, h4, that sort of thing. Is tempting, very tempting here for me. I've got my King's Crusher t shirt on. <laughs> I don't know if you want to check this out. It's on the Teespring King's Crusher store, yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I've got a Russian designer. It's, it's me eating a chocolate king, yeah. <laughs> Snacking on a chocolate king. Uh okay. <laughs> so or a King's Crusher, not me, just the spirit of King's Crusher. <laughs> okay, so G five is uh uh is that a move? G five if he took H four, this kind of hack attack hack attack H four um g5 hg h4 it's pretty crude but dangerous i think on blitz time controls this kind of thing the bishop's a nice piece here anyway from a positional point of view i haven't got like a, a bad piece really i'll still play for g5 i think and then h4 or I could consider the bishop e6 and queen d7 and castle queenside. Maybe this is interesting as well. Queen d7 and castle queenside. Um, yeah. No, it's impressive on d5 at the moment. Ah. Uh, hmm. If the king moves, I take on f2 here. Queen d7, castle queenside would seem an idea. On b5, I'm thinking I could take and then knight d4. Oh, well, like that. Oh, I don't want a castle queenside. He's put me off. No, he's put me off. <laughs> a, B, yeah, I don't like the look of that. Uh, I, I'm thinking f5 instead now. The king's slightly safer over here. As the art of war says, put yourself beyond the feet before going on the attack. So here, I think it's safer than this B file. So let's see if F5 happens. One slight downside is is the G5 square. However, if I can put more pressure on F2 with F5, uh, let's say taking. Now, if I took with the rook, there is a tempo gainer, Bishop E4. Maybe I take with the bishop and still prepare to double rooks with rook f7 and the other one. I think this is a good idea. Although he's got an idea of b6 suppressing my bishop. What if I played before the bishop gets trapped in the pawn chain to put the bishop on d4 instead? This means that b5 maybe I can take and then b6. If the bishop was on a7 it would be a prisoner in its own pawn chain self-containment. But here I think I'm more prepared for b5. Can I double rooks now? This plan of playing rook f7, rook a f8, double rooks, 
together with the knight and bishop on f2, a nice common square. I think also f4 is is something. Ah, he's extinguished my f4 possibility. How about he or she? Bishop e6. Uh, let's see. Actually, who am I addressing? <laughs> no, gender neutral chess clock. Okay. So rook f7, rook a f8. What about this? Or bishop e6. Hang on, b7's on the fire. Okay, I think he's winning uh, the light square bishop. I got a shield. b7. That's a nifty retreat there. Okay. Bishop e4 is also possible. However, what about bishop takes f2 check or knight takes f2? Okay. Uh, let's just go with the plan, I think. Double. Uh, and again, or do I need to do something else? c5, uh, that opens up the rook. Um, I, I think still okay to do this maybe the e5 square is something to celebrate here knight e5 uh, okay so under pressure here uh, I can protect uh, c6 and hit d3 however <laughs> there is f4 I don't know if f4 is any good? Also, my um, my h five uh, g six bishop g six or g seven. Maybe queen h three is a test just to offer h five. There's g six bishop g six rook g seven with some sort of attack there. Well, on bishop g six, there's not a free check anyway. So g six is interesting. So bishop g6, knight f3, that kind of weakens the last move. Neglecting f3, so knight f3. Let's see, uh, let's say uh, the queen goes back, maybe rook f3. If the queen went to e2, rook f3. Uh, for rook g3 or something else. Rook g3 isn't such... A threat. I wonder if I can take and d5 here. Oh, there's, there's also bishop g2 if he wants. Uh, d5 loosens my knight as well. However, let's do this anyway because I have in mind queen at f5. So I'm looking at d3 potentially now without any bishop e4. Is that pawns on d5? There was bishop e4 before. I think knight f2 is must be possible. Aha. Uh -huh. Right. And knight h3. Oh, queen takes g3. I'll take here. Take here. Okay, interesting game, yeah. Thanks, thanks for that. Okay, uh, shelling. I'm wondering, I've got to change tact recently. Up, I think I've got to try and keep pace on the clock as a high priority against this very dangerous opponent. Maybe slightly more pre moves, but when the critical positions comes, if if I can just have a, maybe a moment to try and find accuracy as well. I've, I'll try and I'll try and combine somehow speed and accuracy if possible. Okay. Um Do I try Benko Gambit against Shelling? Alright, okay. I think it's pre pre moving there, you see. Taking a little bit of a risk, not much, but I've got a standard plan I've used here. Sometimes. 96 to F7. Sometimes. Um. Mm. 
maybe uh, okay I have to protect that a6 b5 if knight b5 knight a5 and then uh, well then I'm weakening all my squares how about play on this side of the board instead I've seen I remember a Kremlin game I think he sort of went crazy on the king side somehow um, uh, maybe knight d6 was that a move knight a5 to c4 maybe the queen might be a target I bet knight a5 to c4 Knight a5 here to c knight c4 after or well there's definitely not knight four because bishop c7 now okay um is it hmm, is it possible to take on b5 knight c4 b3 there's nothing spectacular there is there all right, maybe I, I I should do this. B five knight c four. Oh, hang on, there is. Oh, ghouls. That's bishop c seven. Yeah, it's not that damaging. Queen e seven takes. A takes at the moment. Um. Okay, shield. Right, you might want to take that. Okay, you might take on h7. Uh, if I do this for a moment, oh, there's knight b4 as an idea as well. How about knight b4 here? Why well, open up the bishop? Ah. Uh, so bishop f5 knight b4 uh, probably knight takes a2 Oh, I, I am peace down here after that. That's unfortunate. <laughs> am I? Oh, Bishop, yeah, I do seem to be a peace down. Yeah, okay. Uh, that was unfortunate. That's very unfortunate. Uh, <clears throat> this looks rather, um, don't know, peace downish. Yeah, maybe. Is it giving the piece back? But is it totally, totally winning? Totally. A rook e6 thankfully blocks the queen. A rook f6. I don't know. <sighs> So you played Queen B seven, that seems a bit slow. Oh 
That's very interesting, isn't it? For him. <laughs> So I think that's the end of that. Is that oh, he's probably threatening chatmate somewhere? I can't see it. I'm at Queen F3. Right. Uh if I go here. He's got check and G3 checkmate. Uh, Queen's got to stand guard there, I believe. If I move this pawn, oh, there's Rook G5. That looks unstoppable, as one might expect. Okay, I think that's it because of Rook G5. Okay, well played. Yeah. <laughs> okay, excellent. Uh, Duke Crusher. Uh, okay, Duke Crusher. Is the crusher here is the Duke crusher here. Okay. Uh I'll try knight c six. Okay. E D. Our friend is Chuck. I've seen Magnus Colson play it. On fang, on on faster time control. Okay, now bishop e seven. That's off the beaten track a bit. So knight e five and d five, or d five or knight e five, one of them. I'll, maybe I'll try knight e five and d five. It's d5. I move. I think it, maybe if f4, there's knight g4. Okay, c5 here. Knight f3, bishop g4. Is that holding up to scrutiny? But uh, let's see. Oh. Or maybe maybe C four is interesting. Or B six. How about B six? That doesn't concede the D four square. B six. Well, and this diagonal is kind of weakened. E D ninety five. Bishop E four. Bishop B seven. All right, can I play uh, this way? I go here. I'm I'm happy with something about this. This knight is not the most uh, okay. Knight d7. Knight e8. Ugh, I don't know. Knight e8 or knight d7. It's difficult uh, to the side there. Okay, so. Well, f5 looks like a defensive 
thing. Let's try and uh, have more king, king safety, potentially. Potentially. F five, oh there's knight h four. Is that I'm wondering if I'm threatening bishop C eight or oh, there's queen e five. Okay. Queen's got e5. If I played bishop d6, wouldn't I have like bishop c8? Okay, knight e5 is also uh, pain. If I played d4, quick d4, bishop d5, there's a queen e5. And then there's maybe knight d7. I end up losing peace, I think. How about knight e4? There's knight e5. That's rook f6. Okay, bishop c. What about just bishop c8? Bishop d6. Uh, okay, I'm going to try and do this forcing move. Bishop d6. Right now, I do have Queen E8 or Bishop F5. Bishop F5 does provide support for Knight E4. Uh, let's say I don't think G4 in general is good to weaken the King like that. Uh, Can I play knight e4 here? So he can win a pawn, but my pieces seem okay. So knight g6. My This bishop seems a bit blocked in by its own like pawn. The knight's not that great. I think my pieces are okay on knight g6. I think. Um, if I played, I don't know, rook, if I played rook f6, I'll just check and queen takes d5. Uh oh. Okay, um, running out of pieces though. Knight g3. Knight g3 is that move. Where's rook h5 after? Which is interesting for knight f5. No, not necessarily. It's interesting for rook h5. If, uh, no. Okay, he's on my rook as well. Oh, okay. Um. No, no. Let's see. Let's calculate. Rook f3, rook h5, f5. Right, get out of this pin if I can. Bishop F two or ninety two. Ninety two has a threat to it. Maybe worth. Why don't I just take this bishop? All right, there is an incoming bishop f four. I could have just taken this bishop though. That would have been uh, more sensible. <laughs> Come on. Let's get this out of the firing line or something. Hmm. 
C4 if rook A7. Can I play for uh, the classic bishop g3 or not? Um, bishop d4 would be good. Okay, knight e4 is incoming. Is um. B4. Try to undermine these pawns. Uh oh. Um. Well plays, yeah. Ask control. Uh, <laughs> well played, and and well spotted that as well. Yeah, I know. I, I I had that bishop. I missed that bishop. Oh, it was a blunder. I missed my opportunity there. Ah. <laughs> Okay, so bishop a7. Hack attack, if I can get it. I think a3 is dangerous. H3, I think it's dangerous. Ah. Um. Uh. Oh, there's Queen F6, isn't there? Oh yeah, okay. Uh, that's a bit of a hack attack. Thanks, Goggin. King safety. Uh Olaf. <clears throat> Hi there. King's engine. Okay, so we have six. Okay, standards, I think, ish. King h7, f5. Hmm. F4 looks tempting. Uh, g5, knight g6, knight f6. Uh, maybe put the brakes on knight b5 in particular there. Uh, 
Okay. Fing Z D. So G four I'm hoping is 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 gonna be dangerous or do I delay it? Uh I could delay it with H five, maybe that's more effective. Uh H four is I think I'm gonna take that. Maybe uh, on G four taking taking I'm thinking knight H two uh, F three so I'm thinking H five might be more effective than G four immediately. G four uh um E4 looks tempting. F3 looks like a form pawn ish. Form pawn, maybe. F3 coming up. I think I should play F3. Power of the form pawn. Knight F four looks or knight H four. Knight H four? Maybe knight H four. Sort of protects keeps F three protected. Knight F four I think you might actually like take uh yeah. Uh it's probably dangerous. Probably. Knight takes g2 coming up. Uh, bishop h6 to f4 is uh, maybe something. If you ever took on f4, mm, I don't want to open up this, this diagonal. If you ever plays e5, I mean, that is a safety point. Can I kick that though? Because he's not threatening immediately. If I don't think anything immediately, or, although there is uh, oh queen c six maybe rook a seven to g seven. This bishop's hanging, isn't it? Oh muppets! What am I doing? Ah! Oh. <laughs> oh. <clears throat> Ah, Muppets. Why why did I, why did I do that? I'm blundering. Blundering. Why well, I just thought that was nifty to get the rook over there. Ah, uh, nif nifty looking for a moment. Ah. Uh. Is there still something? I'm hoping there's still something to look forward to here. Okay, let's see this position. There isn't queen g6. It would take there. Is ah uh, knight takes maybe queen g5 after. I, I oh. <laughs> um uh, no major queen sack knight f five would seem a, an idea if I played king h eight for a moment. You know what, Rook G seven is, is the whole point of losing the <laughs> piece by accident, though. But the whole point was to get the Rook over here. Rook G seven. That point still remains. Uh, although my Queen's attacked now. Okay. If I played Knight F six.
Oh, it's getting an old thing now. Oh. There's rook c1 to c7. Alright, there is a move here now, rook g7. Unless I want to play something else like this, threatened mate. It's worth calculating. Is it threatened mate? Uh, rook g7 instead, g3, queen h3, bishop f1. Queen a. Queen g5 instead, g or bishop f1. Okay. Uh, I'll start with this. Okay. I'll just start with this. Okay. Fg looks dangerous for queen g5. Doesn't it? Just simply queen g5, or maybe even queen h3. Well, either looks, I don't know, dangerous. I don't know, maybe I'm, I hope I'm right about this one. <laughs> Come on, yeah, surely. Um, yeah, there's queen b4. Rook C seven. There is a check. It's pretty forcing. There's, there's quite a few forcing checks here. Um, I'll take out this guy. I'll take out this pawn now. Have a move. What am I doing again? <laughs> oh, oh, this is, oh, oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> sorry. I don't think I'm in peak form right now. Uh, I, I'm blundering today. Well played. I, I don't know, Rook A7, that's, why do these moves come to mind? I, I'm lured by something. There's something more important sometimes to me, how a move looks. Uh, okay. Especially the time. Okay. Just want to avoid this. Trap. How's the best? Knight g6. Knight f5. Uh, okay, clearly not bishop d7. That knight takes d6. Knight f5. Not g6 either because of queen a4. Knight f5 or knight g6. I think knight. G six Knight G six. So Queen A four, there's Bishop D seven without losing D six. Okay. Um now I've seen I've covered a game, Magnus Colson actually sacked the H pawn later and used the light square weaknesses. Uh, so I want to try and imitate that if possible, um, especially if g3 is played 
I think there's the potential pawn sack coming up maybe somewhere around here f5 not f5 e4 e4 gives knight e5 possibly possibly around here this idea pawn sack in exchange for light square play uh what was it against sergey karyakin recently something like that happened which was otherwise knight g6 looks like a weird move anyway i mean h5 is doomed in any case so just trying to swap h5 uh for light square weaknesses my computer keeps moaning I'm, I'm lacking in space i need to move some files across at some point okay somewhere i've just dropped a7 have i no takes queen a5 check a7 is not a problem i think right now um is it okay here we go g6 is possible or even knight d3 check is possible no it's not because it's check funny enough okay but this is interesting i think this position i think there's the possibility of bishop takes h4 here if castling that looks quite dangerous I can just switch the rook in on the h file castles Bishop takes h4 let's see if castling Bishop h4 is not going to do that though Bishop d7 and rook c8 if he's going to castle queenside right there's going to be h5 later I think I've got to do something quickly here on the queen side so this pawn sack probably a pawn sack I assume uh, okay can't take that b4 is that a move maybe a5 and bishop a6 later I don't want to liberate this position too much bishop a6 might be important to get rid of this bishop to weaken d3 h5 g5 try and weaken d3 weaken d3 If I took and then knight d3, it's a bit of a harmless knight. I think that knight right now is not that big a deal. Okay. All right, so my e6 has been compromised. Have I got knight d3 coming up now as a bigger deal than before? Or does he sack the exchange? Oh, that's dangerous. I could play. Oh, that's dangerous. Knight f3. Oh, this is looking scary. Knight f3 is more of a defensive move, which might be, in the circumstances, better before he makes me with his queen. Uh, hg and g7 incoming looks dangerous. I wonder if. Yeah, there's also rook h7 as well Queen f6 g7 King f7 is that plausible that position I'm trying to win this pawn g7 king f7 rook h7 rook g8 b3 would allow rook c2 for the moment 
play this for the moment. Gives me the possibility of rook g8 on rook h7. But I, I lose my rook c2, my b3 and rook c2, cheapo idea. But, it, you know, maybe he just takes on b3. Uh, what about here, the cheapo <laughs> rook c2? Would, it, would, he, would he take this? He's going to take that somehow. If he took with either the knight or the pawn there, I think a4 in both cases is probably interesting. There's another interesting thing about this. Okay, a4. Or knight e5, maybe knight e5 goes queen h5. Knight d4, bishop d4, that looks nasty. This idea of a rook sack appeals to me. Something like bishop e5, rook a1, queen. Uh, the queen's on a6 though. Um. I just doubled the rooks instead. It's not queen and king takes g8. Okay, if I just double the rooks, rook g8 there. He's taming my position. Ah. Uh, isn't there rook takes d4? There's queen e8. Rook takes d4 here looks plausible. Okay, um that's a draw draw I think. Yeah, <laughs> it's pretty exciting things. Yeah, <laughs> it's very exciting. Okay. Uh yeah, fun. Okay. Uh in in the demons. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how to pronounce. Sorry. In the demons. Ah, oh, in the demons, right? Yeah, I'm gonna have to address those. <laughs> uh, yeah. Castle D five. I played knight takes is this losing a pawn it's probably is it losing a pawn I, I assume it is but it might oh might be something after like the b file but I don't know it's just a speculation that the b file might be useful okay uh, rook or bishop e6, maybe bishop e6 for the moment. Okay, so uh, queen f6 coming up. Oh, the queen d4 is looking dangerous, c4 is looking dangerous. As well, so uh, <laughs> uh, f6 maybe f6 c4 is plausible, knight b6 is plausible. I would hope, otherwise, there's going to be some disaster happening with queen d4. It looks like. Um. 
Entry ein. So can I play Bishop F7? My, I don't like my structure that much, but the rook's active at least. That trade-off one can sometimes make in chess. Incur structural damage, but improve your peace activity. So knight e4, queen b4, queen e5, maybe queen e5. The queen looks a little bit of a target. Why do I, can I just nab this pawn? I get mated. That would be a good way of getting mated. Okay, why am I even thinking of that? It's ridiculous. Hold on. The position dictates the seemingly ridiculous might actually be logical. In fact, in fact, it depends if I can get away with queen f4. If I took there bishop d5, then I'm getting knocked out with rook h1 for sure. Or am I? I would imagine. Yeah, can I do something more sensible? What about, can I just get rid of the queens? Let's just get rid of the queens. So, let me go back. Quite structurally better. Yes. Okay. Our uh, rook b4 is uh, a move which looks. <laughs> I don't know what to do actually. I need, I need. I think I need a plan. I need a plan. Uh, coming up at some point. I need a plan here. Yeah. Okay. A5. Is that some sort of weird plan to? At least encourage I don't know, some structural repair. Um, mm. Okay, you know what? This e file looks all of a sudden something of interest. That pawn can be used as sort of Alaska pawn bait. He's sometimes in Alaska game he would sack his A7 pawn to get some drum up counterplay somewhere else. This it looks like a can I do this sort sort of thing? Uh, can I crash down the center soon with uh, with something like that a pawn sack or something? Okay, Rook E2. Rook D2 as a, as a test, I could play Rook E2. What is he doing? Rook D2. Aha. Uh -huh. That controls things quite well, doesn't it? Right. Um, it's got the position under control. That's annoying. Is Rook E6 plausible? D6. There you go. He's won the pawn. Okay. Ah, uh, and my C6 is on the fire. Okay, 97 then. 97, 97. Try and hold on to C6 now. So he's got a major past a pawn. Uh, haven't got too much counterplay. C five is C five anything? If 
Rookie six. And there's going to be Bishop B3 on the way. I think my king needs to get out of here as well. C5 for Rook D6 check. I'm shedding another pawn. Not good. Here you go, take all my pawns. Oh, I'll try and keep the material on. Stops Rook C6. The clock's in my favour. That's about it. Bishop somewhere. Here. Would I be in trouble if I went there? I see my word. Okay. <laughs> uh, Bishop B5 then. Oh. Yeah, all my pieces are now hanging. Okay. Nice. <laughs> the only thing is it's only got twelve seconds. Oh from a practical point of view from a practical point of view I might have a chance from a practical point of view here. Yeah. I would hope. Um Oh my king looks I hope I'm not going to get mated in two seconds. That'd be really cruel. Um, can I try and do something with my king before I get mated? About to get mated there as well. That was a fine game. Not hack snack. <laughs> I am. I don't know. I don't know. It's. <laughs> I had a late night last night. Oh, that's my excuse. Oh, oh it's been a. It's been a busy weekend. Ah. Uh. <laughs> ah. Okay. This is a three-minute game, right? I'm saying three minutes. D3 and castles. Uh, F4, F5. There's a good template plan for three minute chess in general, I think. Blockade on e3 and play for g4 later. So he plays e4. I'll try and blockade on e3 and play for g4 later. Queen d2, rook f2, rook ag1. Although my king could do with uh, maybe. If I block this side, my king can go over here, then there can be g4 later. So something like rook h1, king g1. If I get time, that is. So this g4 is being very carefully prepared at a Leela chess. I think I've seen a Leela game where, again, stockfish. King went over there after the, after it was blocked with a move like c5. So it's sort of 
Might be actually Stockfish against Leader One game like that as well. Okay. Anyway, if I put my king over here, then play for g4. So why you think why would why would I do that? And I just think if the king's safer and you play g4, you sort of get like this file maybe sometimes without the king being exposed. If the king's on c1, okay. I think I should stop knight before to d3. I should stop this naughty business over here with b6. Although that can be reinforced with knight d7. Okay, it's not going to be easy, is it? If he played for b6, like knight b6, there's knight c5. So with that in mind, if the king was on c1, a knight on c5, oh, he's got knight c4. It's going to be quick. Uh, is there a bet wave? He's a bit short on time now. It's only a three minute game though. Okay, I'll take care. Mm. Okay, I'll take that. Okay, uh, fast pace, three minute. All right. Uh, okay, GM Hunter. Oh, okay, GM Hunter. Uh, okay. Impressive. Hmm. Okay. One chocolate king to eat. Two chocolate kings. Three chocolate kings. Four chocolate kings. Five chocolate kings. Six chocolate kings. Seven chocolate kings. Eight chocolate kings. Nine chocolate kings. 10 chocolate kings to snack on. Okay, I think I have to abort on this occasion. Friedel. So will my fish be fried today by Friedel? Okay. Let's see. Why am I taking immediately anyway? Intriguing. I'm gonna go for Bishop D six. If I castle and then E five, it looks like a quick E five is plausible here. Huh? Ooh. Looks cheapo, knight d3 alert. Cheapo alert. He has moved a piece twice in the opening. Uh, so g6, bishop f5 is another. It looks as though this is weird that I'm being given. Oh. Of course, I haven't been given too much. Or have I? Knight takes and then the bishop would have been um, 
I'll take here. How about bishop b5 for a laugh? There's knight d4. Oh, okay. Knight e4 or bishop f5. Queen c5. If I put the pressure as though queen d4 might be a possibility. Oh, can he win a pawn here? Oh. And knight d6 will stop offering this. Knight d6. Maybe one pair of rooks coming off. Knight c4. Is that plausible? Try and encourage b3, which we, we can see free, but it's the knight might be interesting there in any case. Let's see. Um, rook f queen d1. Okay, queen d1. Looks like um, I don't want, I don't want to keep my pieces uh, protected somehow. Um, Can I create some weaknesses? Oh, well, that's something. H5? Is that too weakening for me? Maybe Queen D6 and H4 later. There is the possibility. Uh, okay, there's another idea I think springs to mind. Um, queen d6. Okay, qu I'll start with queen d6. So h4 would seem as though something to do. King g7, rook h8, something to do. Hmm. Okay. I'm not going to. Uh, if I played King G7, check King G1. Don't mean so. Just checking it out for a moment. King G7, Rook H8. King G seven rook H eight. Here, yeah, rook H eight. There's F six, isn't there? If he's not careful. In fact, here isn't there. F six. No, there's knight F five. Where is that? Hmm. Oh, maybe Bishop F five. Okay, let's oh, let's check this out. No, 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 no. no. He's he's on G six. He's on G six. That's silly business. Silly, silly, silly. Okay, Queen F six. Queen F six. How about uh, bishop c8, knight d7 to c5 to e6? This kind of stuff. This knight's not doing anything there. Knight going to e6. Oh, it's going to be activated now. The way he's playing it. I'm not sure knight f5 is completely crushing. If he gets to play knight f5. Or is rook takes d5. 
knight c5. Okay, he didn't play that. I could unpin for a moment. Okay. It's knight e5. Let's rule out knight b5. Knight c5. Go back here. B5. B5. Knight D7. Or B4. Okay. Okay. Oh, take that. Oh, I'm giving him B five. Why? Why? Why give him B five? Oh, that was silly. Um, okay, I can take on C4. I thought it was going to get a nice pass pawn there. D4, uh, plausible, no, not yet, okay, get the queens off, nope, okay, something which isn't losing immediately, uh, nope, that, that didn't work out very well, <laughs> I did sort of see that threat, but just not there, He's got to move. He's got to move. Is it practical? Oh, come on. <laughs> come on. We're about 15 seconds each. It's no time for pause. <laughs> pausing. It's not increment. <laughs> but yeah, I, I saw that. And I thought, okay, would I play? Ah, oh, I, I saw this for a moment. And yeah. I think I was looking at something else and I saw Yeah, okay. Not it's not enough time to think. Oh well that stage about much. Okay. Uh If it was increment I'd lose a lot more based on today, I think. On the other hand, uh it depends. I think I maybe may play more Sondersy as well, though. Trade off time versus playing more accurately. Uh, I would hope I'll play more accurately. But it doesn't fit the style of um, this. Because uh, increment games can go on for a long time. They can go on for a very long time, potentially. Ah, uh, okay, so let's see, knight takes f4, bishop d5 and knight g6, or knight d5 and, uh, bishop d5 and something, knight g6, 
it springs to mind as a, as a forcing sequence which would be useful under the right circumstances bishop d5 something like is knight e4 g5 surely is is too weakening to consider But I, I do want to connect my rooks up here. Bishop e3 and g5. G5. Okay, it's on h3. That would be an interesting pawn sack. If he did want to go for h3, I believe, by taking here, because I think d6 is compromised. So something like rook f2 and rook h1, and the h fold could be used. So if this is, looks like too forcing to me. It gives too many downsides to win h3. I have to keep an eye on f3, though. Bishop h3, it's going to be difficult actually to get a rook to h1 here. Okay, knight f3 is threatened again. Is there like knight takes c5? It holds f3, it undermines e5. Um, knight takes c5 might be interesting. Now, if say he nudged the knight, bishop e5, knight e4, the extinguish this knight f3, if needed, if I need to do that, do I? Okay. Oh, that looks cruel. The bishops look cruel here. There looks to be, it looks to be a disaster, actually. Okay, at this. Okay, yeah, okay. That was, uh, was interesting. Time for another, I think. Oh, have, is there any three minute game challenges honestly because there's only like two minutes left in fact you know what it's only two minutes left I, I want to help promote uh, premium membership uh, as well with these streams because Magnus Carlsen is later Magnus Carlsen is later yeah pay just later today Magnus Carlsen let's go to this premium screen 15% off it's golden opportunities to play the world chess champion later. Banter Blitz, fantastic. One of the best, the greatest players ever in chess history. So, but to challenge him later, I'd recommend you have to be premium member for a start. And I think at least like 30 minutes beforehand, send your challenge off. If, if he's around, available to challenge. Try and snap out a challenge later. Um... And um, yeah, any any thoughts? Any any premium members want to just say other benefits, which I should men mention, as well as Magnus Carlsen later. It, shall I shall I just mention any other benefits for a moment? Uh, I I think the tournament coverage is second to none of, of all the tournaments around the world. And um, yeah, okay. I hope you enjoyed. Um, today and <laughs> I'm gonna try and get better sleep you know next weekend <laughs> it's, it's, it's terrible it's terrible but there is a classy player that later on called Magnus Carlsen yeah so premium membership for Magnus Carlsen later highly recommended where else would you get this opportunity tell you tell your grandchildren you played Magnus Carlsen yeah <laughs> okay <laughs> whatever so uh, see you next week. Thanks very much.